And welcome back to Talk of Alabama. Have you ever been considered for a knee or hip replacement? If so, the doctors at Andrews Sports Medicine have new exciting news for you, new technology for their joint replacement patients. So welcome to both of our doctors here today, both orthopedic surgeons, Dr. Davis and Dr. Moore. How are y'all? Doing great. Good. Thanks. Okay, uh, Dr. Davis, I think we can start with you. I understand that they have this new technology at Andrews Sports Medicine. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, we just recently got uh, some, it's called the Mako robotic arm okay. surgery, and it allows us to do uh, the surgery with the, uh, with the assistance of a robot for hip, knee, and partial uh, knee replacement. And we're looking at some video here, I understand. It's showing the, uh, showing a, CAT scan of the uh, the hip and an example of uh, procedure being uh, done marking the, the hip and showing the uh, location of the cuts to make it more accurate. So does this make a robot actually perform the surgery, Dr. Moore, or are you still in the room? How does this work? Right, so we don't want the patients to be under the misperception that we go in and wind up a robot and, <laughs> and then go have a cup of coffee. We're still completely in control. The robot can't think. It can't act on its own. Okay. Uh, we're 100% in control of the, of the robot arm. Okay, got you. Is there an advantage from looking back, Dr. Davis, how you performed replacements in the past with knee or hip to what the robot does now? What's the difference and what's the advantage? The advantage is we have information going into the surgery about what we can expect, so we're more prepared to handle things. Okay. And intraoperatively, it allows us more precision, more accuracy, and also um, allows us to make intraoperative changes more easily. The, um, it, it, again, provides the, the cuts more accurately yeah. in terms of alignment and position. Okay. And Dr. Moore, can you walk us through the kind of the process or the surgery process with the robotic arm? Sure. So once the surgeon and patient have decided that hip replacement or knee replacement is the appropriate thing to do, then we get a CT scan. We saw a little bit of that on the video. Um, there's a virtual plan created that's uh, precise to that patient's anatomy. We then essentially perform uh, the surgery in a virtual world before we ever go to the operating room. We then bring the patient to the operating room and uh, make sure that we execute that plan. Uh, the robot guides us as we make, prepare the bone and then place the implants. And then okay. we can use a robot to back check to make sure we are as accurate as we think we are. Oh, nice. So if somebody wants to learn more about this, can they visit your website? Can they call you? How does that work? Yeah, absolutely. They can call our website. I mean, call our call. They can yeah. check our website or they call us. Um, and then we actually have information on the website about the technology okay. and uh, about going forward what we're going to do. What is the recovery time for something like this? Same as? It'd be very similar okay. to the, uh, the standard hip or knee or partial knee replacement. Okay. And the patients that you've operated on so far, what do they say? Uh, it might have been, it's been very positive. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think, I think uh, everybody's very enthusiastic about how accurate this can be. Yes. And so far there's been very good feedback. That's great. Yeah. So, and I don't think anybody else is doing it, are they? I think you guys are either one, at we're, least one of the first. We're, we're the only group in town that, that has access to the robot at this time, yes. That's fantastic. So, yes. Okay, the website, by the way, as far as contacting them at the bottom of your screen, Andrew Sports Medicine, Dot com. So if you want more information about this, or maybe you've got a loved one that's thinking about knee or hip replacement, well, we have your answer for you today. Thank you, doctors, so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Thank we you. appreciate it. Now you got to go back to surgery. <laughs> you got to go to your real, your real job. It's now time to send it over to Java, who's standing by with all the last, last night, rather, highlights of Dancing with the